Today I show you how to use the split screen function in Android. I have a note taking up and I can switch between apps like that. So I could go from one app to the other and also there is a bonus tip here. If you double tap on the switch up but button, it will actually switch immediately. So you don't have to press and then select the window and then go like this. You don't have to do it like this. You can do double tap. It's like Alt tab in Windows. Keeps It goes back to the previous window. Once you press this, you might have this on the other side, but it's the same option. When you are in this multi-window switch, here you can close all the windows, but you can also use the multi-window switch. And what this does, you can choose a view where you have, for example, you have one app on top, another app on the bottom, and you just choose from the open apps or you open a new app. And you have to, you, when you're finished, you press done here. You can choose how to arrange them here. This is also some a few options. I guess if you want to combine them, so if you notice now, it, it already pre-selected for me. So I have two windows here. On top it's YouTube and then the notes on the bottom here. Once I'm, I, I have to press done here or just press on the window there. But once I press done or in the window, you can also, I can rearrange the size of the window. So if I want the note up to be very small on the bottom of the screen, that's also an option. I can copy some text from here, for example. Copy the text. Go to the note and you see it's dynamically expanding. Paste it, go back to the website copy some other text I don't know why it says that there is internet so okay other text I can have here so whenever there is a need for the keyboard it will pop up automatically here when I'm in the app here I can press on the other app to go to adjusting mode and this is and actually I can even close the app like that. Actually not close it, but just remove it from the multi-window switch. Because the app is still there. It's just not in the multi-window. And I can go back to having it like that. So I could type something on the bottom here, on the bottom window. And then go to the top on this website and I go to the search. And it will show me the keyboard. For example... Volkswagen and it gives me the search on top and then I have the notes up here on the bottom this can be any combination of apps so I can have here the YouTube app for example I could watch a video while reading some article <laughs> I mean if you wanted to you can do this with the sound so you have your phone, you watch a YouTube video and you browse the internet. That's how the video looks like on the bottom of the screen. And I can make it bigger to include more. Something like this. can go to the actual channel and when you want to close it you can just swipe it down or up for example if I wanted to have again the same layout and if I want to keep the bottom up I will swipe up to close the top up top the app that's on the top of the screen that's it thanks for watching hope this helps you it's usually when you take notes it's very really useful for, uh, or even to watch a YouTube video on one side of the screen and have a browser on the other side. Thanks for watching. Good evening.